from Las Vegas. It's the Cube covering Veritas Vision 2017. Brought to you by Veritas. Welcome back to Veritas Vision, everybody. My name is Dave Vellante. I'm here with Stu Miniman. This is the Cube, the leader in live tech coverage. Uh, this is day one wrap of the Veritas Vision Conference. Veritas, as we said earlier, is a company that has gone through a number of changes, Stu. I mean, I remember when the company launched in 1983, it was sort of, you know, it was focused on backup. There was Veritas and Legato, and they kind of grew through the PC era and the client server era, really kind of to take off. And then they exploded in the internet era. Their valuation went through the roof. They ended up buying you know, Seagate, uh, Seagate's backup business. They really drove that and then got you know, purchased by Symantec for a big number. I mean, I think the number was you know, 15 billion. I mean, it was in the teens, as I recall. Really never did much under Symantec, uh, or Symantec never did much with, with, with Veritas. I think they had a vision of information management and that never really panned out spun the company back out, divested it, so, sailed to Carlisle and some other investors for, a, I thought the number was eight billion, somebody told me seven billion today, that must be net of cash. Um, $2.3 billion in revenue. My understanding from sources is that valuation is way, way up, nearly double from 2015. Now, maybe that's an inflated number, but I'm not surprised, the market's been booming. Um, so that's sort of the inside sort of organizational issues. We're here at the area, what do you say, Stu? A couple thousand people, 2,500? Yeah, it's about 2,000, Dave, and it's interesting. I, I, I talked to some people that had gone to the old Veritas Vision, you know, mm -hmm. years ago, and gotten up to about four or 5,000 people, uh, but, you know, growth since last year, uh, you know, good energy at the show. We got to talk to the Vox community people. They've got, you know, 10,000 people online contributing to their forums, participating, launched a VIP program for, uh, you know, some of the super users they have here. Um, definitely, uh, you know, good crowd in the keynote, uh, you know, good people clapping and participating, getting excited. Um, you know, it surprised me a little bit, you know, the number one topic in conversations is GDPR. Uh, as you said in our last interview, you know, we're going down the deep abyss of how you're going to get, you know, litigated out of all of your money if you don't follow this. It's like way worse than Y2K, ah, some stuff's going to break and, you know, maybe turn off for a bit. Well, but <laughs> you know what I liked about the GDPR uh, discussions, though? They had answers. Yeah. Like other events where I've gone to GDPR, it's been, scary, 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 you, scary, you, scare you, and then call us. Yeah. And we'll give you some services. What, what I liked about uh, what I'm hearing from Veritas is they've got at least a quasi prescription as to what to do, so that's good. But the more interesting part to me, Stu, is you've got this enterprise backup, legacy, I'll say it, legacy backup install base, enormous, <clears throat> a leader, they've mentioned many times, 15 years in a row, leader in the, the, the magic quadrant, and I believe it, you talk to customers, what are you running, net backup, everybody's running net backup but how they're transitioning into this vision of multi-cloud, uh, uh, data protection, resilience, across the enterprise, across clouds, hyperscale. What I'm not fully clear on yet is how they get customers from point A to point B. Yeah. Are they, and we heard from uh, the keynotes this morning and Bill Campbell, we invested a bunch of dough in R&D, we're writing stuff that's cloud native, you know, container based, microservices, so sort of all the right application development buzzwords, and I believe that they're developing there, but, but I don't understand how they, they migrate that install base. Is there some kind of abstraction layer? Is there some kind of new UI? We heard, of, we heard them jokingly say today in the keynotes that you know, they, we hear you, customers, we know our UI sucked, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're working on that. Uh, I didn't see any announcements on that, but, but and that's you know, something that presumably is a promise they're putting forth, but I wasn't clear, maybe you could help clear it up, on how you get from point A of legacy install backup you know, software to this nirvana of multi-cloud hyperscale microservices. Yeah, I, I mean, Dave, when we talked to Bill Coleman, his three Vs, uh, you know, value, vision, and that, that values of the company itself, uh, clearly he's got a compelling vision. Uh, you know, he said, not only 10 years from now, but probably five years from now, every product I'm selling is going to be obsolete. Uh, and it's an interesting thing to hear because, you know, 15 years of experience, you know, we're trusted, uh, but we know that every product that you bought from Veritas in the past is going to be replaced by new things. 
Uh, and right, how do we get, say, okay, I've been buying net backup for a decade, you know, do I get this visualization product? And if I'm looking at AWS, is Veritas the company I turn to? So it really gets down, Dave, that blocking and tackling. Uh, talk about the consultants, the partners, both on the go-to-market side as well as the technology side. Can Veritas get in there? Can they have compelling differentiated products uh, that solve a need in the market? Uh, we've talked to a number of companies this last year I've looked at is this hybrid multi-cloud world. If you're software, how do you play in this market? Because isn't Microsoft, Google, Amazon, aren't they going to just do this? You know, information government, governance and visibility? Absolutely, Amazon has a solution for you, Google has a solution for you, Microsoft has solutions, but if I'm going to be across those environments, we haven't had a solution that goes across all of those environments, so there, there's, there's a hole in the ecosystem, and Veritas, along with many other companies, are trying to put that big elephant on the table and eat pieces out of it. So, well, uh, it, it, it's interesting. And Coleman's background at, you know, from BEA, started BEA, uh, you know, I think he took the thing up to half a billion dollars, and sold it to Oracle for a big number. Um, but you look at what BEA did, they were sort of the application integration glue. And that's a lot of, you hear a lot of s you know, similar messaging, modernized around multi-cloud, around hyperscale, around microservices and the like. So, you know, he, he, Coleman obviously has experience doing that. I thought he's a very clear thinker. I had not met him before. Furrier knows him you know, pretty well uh, uh, from his VC days. But I, th I thought he laid out a pretty clear direction. So he's got street cred on this. Um, he seemed calm, done it before. I think this company has a you know, decent balance sheet. They've, they seem to have some patient capital in Carlisle. Uh, it doesn't appear that Carlisle's trying to suck all the money out. They don't have the 90-day shot clock. He basically, uh, Bill Coleman basically said, look, we, we, we're, we're fine shrinking to grow. We're shifting from a you know, upfront license model, perpetual license model, to a, a rateable model. We could never do that as a public company. So it's going to be very interesting to see if and when they emerge as you know, a public company, what that looks like and where yeah, they come from. Yeah, and Dave, one of the things I've been poking at is, you know, where do they sell to? If this was the backup administrator, that's not somebody that's going to help them with the transformation. It's digital transformation, it's my cloud strategy, it's things like GDPR where I'm going to need to get up the stack to the CIO, to the C-suite, prove the value that Veritas has, and therefore they can then get you know, all these new products in where you know, everything, the 360 data management, uh, really at the core of what they're doing, and whole lots of other products. I mean, Dave, we didn't even dig into some of the you know, object and file storage pieces that are in here. I know we've got their chief product officer on theCUBE tomorrow, but uh, a lot of products, uh, you know, pretty broad software suite, and you know, for an infrastructure company, uh, you know, it, it's, it's always interesting to hear them say, you know, really, you know, infrastructure doesn't matter, you know, the no hardware agenda, but it's your data that matters, uh, and you know, we've got a vision here at Veritas Vision to bring you forward, uh, and lots of plays on the, the name of uh, the company, you know, Veritas. Uh, the show is the truth and information. Yeah, so let's talk about the lineup tomorrow. A um, lot of product stuff tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Mike Palmer's coming on. He gave a great keynote this morning. Uh, very funny. He gave a scenario of the world ending because they basically people didn't have their data act together. They had these <laughs> images of you know, Las Vegas hotels and chaos and you know, wa waterfalls running through the hotels and, and drones attacking and, and just total chaos. So we're going to get into a lot of the portfolio stuff and I think try to answer, Stu, some of those questions that I raised about how do you get customers from point A, where they are today, to point B? You know, are you going to, how are you going to transition them? Are there financial incentives? Uh, is there some kind of abstraction layer that you're, you're, you're developing? Uh, you know, what is that framework that brings us you know, to that nirvana? So, um, give me the last word here, Stu. Yeah, uh, so looking forward to digging in more with some of the customers, some of the partners. Good energy at the show. It's exciting to be here for the first time, and uh, looking forward to day two. All right, good. Good wrap, Stu, thank you, and uh, thank you for watching. Uh, go to siliconangle.com uh, for all the news. Uh, we saw some Oracle news today. Uh, Hitachi changed its name, or Pentaho changed its name. We're not really sure about that. Uh, but all the news on siliconangle.com. Go to wikibon.com for all the research. And of course, thecube.net to see this show, replays, youtube.com slash siliconangle is where we archive all this stuff. Lots of websites. Yeah, make sure to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Yeah, please do subscribe on that YouTube channel and uh, follow us on Twitter. 
at theCUBE, at Stu Miniman, at D Vellante. That's a wrap, day one. This is theCUBE, we'll see you tomorrow from Veritas Vision from Vegas. Take care.